Hi, learning happens all the time. And today I want to talk to you about a way to learn or to plan your learning so that it's really efficient. So learning happens all the time, but sometimes you learn on purpose. You try really hard, you study, you want to memorize something. You've already memorized a lot of things. You've memorized the words to some songs. You've memorized dance steps if you're a dancer. If you take music lessons, maybe you've memorized how to play something on the piano or on the violin or on the cello or on the flute. Uh, you've already memorized this. When you were very young, you already memorized this. And you probably have already memorized this. And as you get older, teachers are going to ask you to memorize more things. Maybe facts and science. Maybe vocabulary words. Maybe formulas for doing math problems or solving things in science. Maybe names and dates and places and events in history. Math facts. Those are really hard for me. Addition facts, subtraction facts, multiplication facts, division facts. Those are really hard. I want to talk to you today about a way to memorize things or to plan your memorizing so that it works better. Use your time better. And it's called distributed practice. And distributed means just spread out over a lot of days. If you memorize things with distributed practice, you spend a little bit of time every day for a lot of days memorizing what you need to memorize, and it works really well. If you don't, you have to wait till the day before and do a lot of massed practice, like all in a mass, all in a mess, and it doesn't work so well. Look at this calendar. So let's pretend I have a history test on Friday. So on Sunday, I study 10 minutes for my history test. On Monday, I study 10 minutes. On Tuesday, I study 10 minutes. On Wednesday, I study 10 minutes. On Thursday, I study 10 minutes. And on Friday morning, I study 10 more minutes. And look how much I've studied. I've studied 60 minutes, a whole hour for that history test. That's called distributed practice because distributed means spread out over a lot of days or a lot of time. So what if, what's my other option? It's called massed practice, which means all at once. I don't study Monday, I don't study Tuesday, I don't study Wednesday, and on Thursday night, I am like, oh no, I have a history test on Friday. I have to memorize a lot of things. So maybe I have to spend a whole hour on Thursday night memorizing those things. And then comes Friday and I have the test. Well, if I have memorized my things by distributed practice, I will know my things better than if I memorize it with mass practice the day before. Some people call that cramming because it's like you're cramming all the knowledge that you can into your head at one time. Doesn't work very well. 